YouTube couple, Smokey Steve and Mark, have mysteriously disappeared during a self-described haunted road trip. This is the footage they left behind. So, we are on our way to a supposedly haunted covered bridge, the Van Sant Covered Bridge. Ooh. So we are at the Van Sant Covered Bridge, an historical landmark and supposedly haunted. Now, local legend tells of two different stories on this bridge. One of a man that came up and viciously murdered a woman and her infant child. Now later his deed was repaid when he was hung from the rafters right here on the bridge. Another legend says of just a woman who murdered her own infant child on this bridge. Now, it's said that even today, you can still see the apparition of the man hanging from the rafters. You can still hear the cries of an infant child, and you can still see a lady walking back and forth on the bridge, looking for her deceased child. <laughs> is Hansel Road. I imagine it's more spooky at night. I would think so. <laughs> So, Hansel Road. So, it is said that if you drive along this road and park your car, turn the lights out, you'll see mysterious lights, orbs, even lanterns floating through the trees. Uh, day or night, actually. Um, early morning, supposedly, is the best time to see these things. Um, legend says that these lights are the souls of little children who were murdered by an evil landowner years and years ago. And you can still hear, you can still hear children laughing and crying, even to this day. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I, I, wait, wait a minute. Do you hear? Do you hear something? Do you hear something? I don't know. You don't. What? Uh, what? Wait. wait. The couple's whereabouts are still unknown. Hi, 
everybody! Hello, everyone! Surprise! We're okay! Was there ever any doubt? There might have been. We might have tricked them. What, two alphas like us? I know, right? We'll be fine! <laughs> be fine. <laughs> We're home! We're safe! It was way too short, but it was a, it was a nice time. It was. It was nice to get out of town. It was. It was. It New was. surroundings, see different things. I had never been to any of the places we went to ever. No. I never have. I haven't either. You haven't either? I've lived it's in Pennsylvania my whole life and hadn't been. I got lost in Bethlehem once. Uh-huh. Not on purpose, and I was not the best part of town. Um, not the nice part we ended up in. So It was a nice... T oh, that was a nice little town. Yeah, that was a nice surprise, too. It was. There was a lot going on while we were there. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was cool, and today we were at uh, Hansel Road and the Covered Bridge. That was really cool. Very nice. You know, we didn't do much in the way of souvenirs, but no. I did get some, a bunch of um, pine cones from Centralia, so I thought I would make maybe uh, Christmas ornaments or something out mm -hmm. of those, you know. And I got some cool rocks, too, from um, outside of the Covered Bridge, so... You know, I'll paint them and put the date on it or something, mm -hmm. you know. I like homemade ones anyway, for memories, you know. And then, of course, we, we have our hotel, Bethlehem Bottled, Bottled Water. Water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which we weren't charged for. No, that was we cool. weren't. That, that was goodness. cool. So. I thought they were going to do it like a mini bar. Yeah. And like you know, charge us 12 bucks for each bottle, but they didn't. So. No, they were very... They nice. actually did us well. They, um... They upgraded us for whatever reason. From a um, queen to a king. Yeah. And we were on, on the, the top, top floor, floor which mm -hmm. was very nice. I didn't ask why. No. But I maybe, you yeah. know, Music Fest was going on. And it's a huge, huge 10-day festival every mm -hmm. year in, in Bethlehem. Um, I didn't know that when I booked the reservations. I, d I did not realize that. No, I just thought it was a hop in town. The, yeah. When we pulled in, I was like, man, there's live music yeah, on every on block. The, street. the streets, everyone's eating outside. Yeah. And normally that would attract, they said, about a million visitors to that little town uh, every year. But this year it was still quite quaint. I mean, there was not, there were not a lot of people, there was not a lot of people there at all. There wasn't. It was bustling when we, you know, in the it, evening, but it, still, it, it wasn't. It made me think of, like, outdoor dining on a Friday night. Yeah. Not like a festival. Not like a festival, yeah. Yeah. And you could see their lineup of the musical acts, you know, it w weren't that great. It was nobody um, that I'd ever heard of. There was some nice music being performed oh, yeah. while we were there. It was mm -hmm. nice to be able to stroll around and hear it, but, um, yeah, you know, it was okay. It was okay. The music was, festival part was I okay. Actually, it was a nice surprise. Though. I prefer it like that anyway. I don't like it when, it, you know, a destination is like jam-packed with people everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for that. Yeah, I don't I don't um, need to be in the middle of it. it right, no. Yeah. I like some people, though, some, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they like they feel alive in the thick of the crowd. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't. Yeah. So, it was cool. And uh, overall, Centralia, I was really glad we went to see it, but it was a letdown, really. I mean... Literally, there was nothing to see. Now, they all, all the, you know, like where you look up things and, you know, they yeah. all said, look, there's nothing to see there. Yeah. And they were true. Even the graffiti highway, it was completely covered over. You couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to deter, you know, onlookers from coming. But, yeah. you know, there were still a handful of people there looking around and everything. And I think we saw three houses. Total? Maybe. And there was one we were coming up to to turn around and park, and it was like, private property, beware of dog, trespassers will be shot. Like, yes. Like, oh, we'll, we'll park two car lengths away from there. Yeah. So. But it was neat to see, because I, I, outside of all of those places, I've seen, you know, TV specials about Centralia fairly often. I've seen a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So it was neat to see it. I mean, I saw specials about the, the Crybaby Bridge, too. Um, that I never heard of. I did see maybe Unsolved Mysteries or something like that. They did a special on it, which is the uh, Van Sant covered bridge. It's the same bridge. It's also known as the Crybaby Bridge. I did see that a special on that, but not as much as Centralia. So it was cool to see. It yeah. was. Oh, it was a good, good trip. We loved it all around, and none of the drags like we both held up 
Neither of us were like yeah. drained physically. It was really nice to sleep in a big cushy king's oh, bed. The bed was so nice. It was very nice. That's getting me on, you know, getting a mattress for us. We need a bigger mattress. We have a full size bed and the mattress it is a spring mattress, but it's from like a futon bed. And then it has like a mattress mattress pad on, on top, top of, of it. it and all that so i just want to either get a regular mattress mm -hmm. full size or maybe go to a queen size mattress i think it would be good for both of us i mean it really helped my body uh <laughs> sleeping on the mattress so i'm thinking we got it we, we that's the next thing which I side did you we sleep need on to save up which side did you sleep on it in the hotel yeah Facing it, I slept on the right side. Is that your normal side? So, okay, facing the bed in the bedroom, yes, the right side. So you slept on your... I slept on the, the, the side that side. I normally sleep on. Oh, okay. Because I thought maybe that would have made a difference. No. It, because no. we had to play, like, Tetris before we could decide to sleep. Who lays which way normally at <laughs> home? So we can reverse, because we also tend to eat in bed, and in a hotel there's not a whole lot of room. Yeah. You know, you could sit at the little desk and yeah. eat, I guess. So it was who's going to put whose food where and do what, and it was... We, we sorted it out. Yeah. I was up early. I went out and found coffee Yeah, somewhere. you did. Really strong coffee. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. It was, it was good, good, though. Oh, yeah, it, it was, was good. good. Yeah, and dinner was great. No, we had a, it was a very nice time. We hope you enjoyed the 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 footage that we put together for you. Mm -hmm. I hope you liked it. Where are we going to go next? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of, like, I like traveling on the cheap. You know, yeah, I do when too. you stay at like Econo Lodges and it's 60 bucks a night yeah. and you're just driving and doing other stuff mm -hmm. like that. But this was something nice that we spent a little more than usual on the room. Because we stayed less time. We yeah. stayed less time. Yeah. Like we stayed, yeah. you know, that, fewer that days, we... but we, we went a little more extravagant. On the room. My idea yeah. of extravagant is like a nice meal out, though, mm -hmm. as far as yeah. staying and lodging. Yeah. I just can't see, I even if I had the money, I just can't see spending $300 a night on a hotel room. Well, my I, idea of know. extravagant is like it has more than baseboard heat. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm incredibly cheap. Like $200 a night to me is like, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's um, about what it was at the hotel, which yeah. um, I guess for that hotel isn't bad i don't know because on the wall it says the rooms were 400 a night you know on the on the back of the door you yeah. know it said 400 a night i couldn't vote 400 for that room no now, that, what that I'm room would have been if music fest was in full swing and it wasn't the pandemic i bet you they they probably they could they been. could sell the rooms for that much but they're probably stuck at occupancy too yeah there's laws or rules right now about how many people you can oh, have that's in. true too maybe that's why we got bumped oh maybe that is why we i didn't think of that that's right hotels can't be full now yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. But most people, every you know, had masks on. You know, I mean, it was it it was a nice trip. Yeah. Yeah. So now we just got to plan our next one. Fall's coming up. We should take a fall, some type of little, maybe just an overnight, like just to see the leaves. Well, we have leaves here. We can go to another part of Pennsylvania and see leaves there. Yeah. Because we'll probably still be doing the mask thing and the distance thing. I Probably. Did. So, but there's a couple little small towns in the Poconos that are tucked away that have cute little main streets. And yes, remind that's you, true. They're good for Christmas and mm -hmm. fall. They're, like Jim Thorpe. That's, like, that was a beautiful Jim Thorpe's place. a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I don't see. know. We'll see what happens. And there's a lot of paranormal stuff around Jim Thorpe, actually, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Because it's rich in history, so it's got haunted houses up in the hills because a lot of rich people settled there. Yeah. So... Interesting. Rich people have ghosts in their house for some reason. Yeah. You don't see a lot of haunted studio apartments. No. No, I guess you don't. No. I don't know. Well, at any but rate. at any rate. Thank you for joining us yes. on this trip. We very much appreciated you along the ride. Yes. I was able to check the comments from the post from yesterday. So thank you to those who were following us. Yeah. It is nice to be home. Yeah, it is. It is nice to see Bandit. It's always nice to go away, but it's always nice to be home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the boys are good. They're fine. Yeah. Oscar's fine. The, they're cool. Garden's I, good. Unpacked, put everything back where it was immediately. Yeah. I hate not having everything back where it was. Like, by the time I get into that shower, all that shower product has to be back. The clothes have to be put back. Like, it's like we never left. That's how it has to look. 
I agree. I'm kind of like that. I'm like that before I leave, though. You clean before we leave. I know. I clean the whole house before we leave. In case the thieves would judge us. Well, you never know. What happens if we, like, well, mysteriously disappeared and someone had to get into our house? I'd like it to be clean. I think the bigger concern would be us disappearing. True. But maybe I'm just being True. dramatic. You're right. No. No, touche. At any rate... Thank you so much for watching. Yes, thank you. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button and bell on the way out so you get the alerts. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark on Twitter. And our handle is at Smokey Steve A. Our email address and contact information is all below. Thank you again. And Mark will be joining you tomorrow for Life After Caretaking. Oh, yes. As we switch it up. We are switching it up. And my oh my, has there been some content yes to discuss has. yes and it's more than just tuna sandwiches and videos of the rain it's it's been different it has been different and it's been on mark to take it all in yes i just get to laugh and point and then, <laughs> and then point at you <laughs> yes yes you picked a, we, we picked a good week to switch i suppose yeah well thank you i got to make dump cake <laughs> <laughs> so remember everybody stay safe stay well but above all else, stay positive, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do. Do you hear something? No. I, I. Wait. I don't know. Anyway, stay positive, everyone. And I, I don't know. I suppose we'll see you next time. Do you think we brought something home with us? You probably. <laughs>